Hello, friends, neighbors, artists, and whoever else is watching. It's me, Raina, and I am back. And today I'm gonna show you a happy accident and why you should never scrape. So, stick around. I'm trying my first ever cloud pour today. I am reusing a resin cup that comes with, you know, one of my hairs attached, because that's nice. Um, little bros. But good way to reduce, reuse, recycle. I'm using a couple of colors today. I've got Amsterdam. This is turquoise green and greenish blue. For the cloud layer, I'm using a mix of Amsterdam titanium white and deco art satin enamel in pure white. And then two colors from this little piggy, I'm using brulee and mermaid. I am using Erica Hughes pouring medium recipe. I'm using Liquitex gloss gel, 25%. She uses golden. But I don't have that. So, a liquitex it is. And 75% US Floetrol. And now I'm just going to start layering my paints. This is the cloud layer. A nice healthy dose of that at the bottom. Since I've never done this, I really don't know how much to use. For those of you who have seen me before, welcome back. And those of you who are brand new, welcome. I am Raina, and you are probably wondering, what's with the name change? So, also, probably wondering where the heck I've been if you've seen me before and you new people just pretend. Anyway, it is now early 2023. It's like the second week in January and uh, 2022 was an incredible blur, <laughs> but you know, it was good somewhat for the most part, good and bad. I have been taking care of my mother. She has end stage Alzheimer's and that has, uh, takes up a good bit of my time. Uh, my days off from my job were Tuesdays and I used to spend that entire day doing art or editing video or, or something like that. But now I take care of my mom on Tuesdays. So I work six days a week and uh, it very much cuts into time. I shouldn't say that. It's, it's a good thing that I get to take care of my mother. It's an honor and a privilege that most people don't get. That time is better spent with her and there is less time that I have to spend video editing and uh, making art. I mean, I've been making a ton of art still because my mother was, is, was, I don't know at this point, an incredible artist and who got me into art, you know, from an incredibly early age. So I get to actually uh, make art with her there and it is somewhat engaging to her. It's a good thing. So I make a lot of art and I film it, but I have no time to video edit it. So uh, that's where I've been. Also, I'm in a rock band and, you know, rehearsals and gigs and all of that uh, take up a bunch of time too, but I love it. Music has always been my other first love, uh, art and music. So that is a good time and that's where I've been. So I am still taking care of my mother. I definitely won't be putting out weekly videos. I don't have time for that, but I'm gonna at least try to do one every two weeks if I can. That is my goal for 2023, and we'll see if it happens. Um, if not, please forgive me, life comes first. <laughs> name change. Painted Raina is going to be my new channel name. I am transitioning it. I have always loved my idea of which of what the f but this is my reasoning. The hashtag WTF is banned on Instagram. That freaks me out because I think if it's banned on Instagram, then it's gonna get banned on Facebook because Meta owns both of them. And eventually I feel like that's gonna come to YouTube. And I've worked hard on building this and I don't want to just wake up one day and have everything erased because I get canceled because of WTF. I'm an artist. I have a very <laughs> weird sense of humor and just because of my, I wear a lot of black and I'm a little strange. I've been called witch all my life. So I just thought it was funny. <laughs> witch of what the, <laughs> you know, hilarious. It's amazing that nobody came up with that before me. My personal website where I have my art, music, everything I do is still witchofwtf.com. That's not going to change. Um, my personal Instagram account is still at witchofwtf. I'm still keeping that tagline, but I have to 
to keep myself safe, I think I need to like drop it from my descriptions and, and my verbiage and everything. So you'll see it, but I'm not gonna have like direct, I'm just not gonna have that in my descriptions because I, I don't wanna get canceled. Everything's getting canceled and that's like such a dumb thing to get canceled over, but I'm actually really worried about it. That's why I'm changing my name. I've had to transition all of my professional things to get into art markets, which I've been doing a ton of. Yeah, that's also where I've been in 2022 is I think I did upwards of 20 or 30 art markets and they are exhausting and incredibly time consuming. So I've been there and uh, we'll see what the future holds. But yeah, it's hard to get into an art market when your social media is which of WTF. So that's another reason that I'm just changing everything to Painted Reina. So I hope that makes sense. No, sir. I don't like it. I mentioned that this painting is a happy accident and uh, the reason it's an accident is because I made a huge fatal error in doing a cloud pour. I forgot to lay down a pillow. Like, duh. Step one, right? I can, I just, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. I don't know if I have any excuses if it was late at night or if maybe I was drinking a little bit too much white wine at the moment. I, I really don't know why I forgot crucial step one of laying down a pillow. So I go with it for a while until I realize the mistake I've made, you know, so. It's pretty ugly here for a little bit, but bear with me. It gets a lot better as you could see from the thumbnail and why you even clicked on this video in the first place. So we'll keep going. Just future reference if you wanna do a clap pour. Lay down a pillow. Don't be like me. Don't do that. After I stretched it out as much as I could and spun it and tilted it and still hated it, I decided to get a hair dryer out. Why? Because I have a no scrape policy. That is for my own, uh, I wouldn't say edification. It's, it's just, I'm, I've always been way too much of a perfectionist and fluid art has helped me break through that and get into a, a different mindset. And now it's much more of a mindset of experimentation and a mindset of, oh, well, that didn't work. I'll try something new. And sometimes my mistakes turn into really beautiful things. Like had I scraped that, I hadn't, I wouldn't have ended up with like this What's well, one of my favorite paintings now that I'm not even gonna sell. I'm keeping that, I love it. So if you screw up, don't scrape it. Maybe try something else. You know, a failed fluid art piece can actually make up for, well, it can make for a super cool background. You could paint something on top of that. Uh, if you're an artist, you know, these colors, I may have added a sea turtle or an octopus or some sort of sea life. Whatever you do is up to you. There's a lot of fabulous painters who use the fluid art technique as the background and then add something on top of it. And if you're not a painter, like if you don't have, you know, fine painting skills, there's plenty of other things you could do too. I mean, you could add uh, things that you made on your Cricut. You could use uh, mixed media and you could paste things to it or resin things to it you know found objects almost like a like a decoupage or a collage or something there's so many things you can do if there's aspects about it that you like and maybe you just don't like it as a standalone piece if you have a laser cutter you could you know cut a really cool shape if you are a polymer clay user imagine making flowers or something and affixing it to the painting don't scrape you just never know what you're gonna come up with and it may inspire you in a completely different direction. So that is why I have a no scrape policy and I'm so happy that I do. Now, hair dryer and straw to the rescue on this one. You'll notice that I'm blowing on it a couple of times. That is an old pen that died and I just took all the innards out and then I just have the tube. You could use an, a normal straw too. I just, I don't. So I recycle pens when they go bad. Sometimes I feel a little pensive though. You'll notice in the finished piece, brulee got a little bit lost. Uh, mermaid, you can still see with the brulee, it's, you, you kind of have to look at it from angles to get that shine. Now, this was my first time attempting these recipes and I maybe could have, I don't know. I'm gonna try something else next time. There's some people who have made some pretty intriguing looking Dutch pours and stuff with piggies and I'm gonna try to use their recipes and see what I come up with. So we'll have a little bit of an adventure there and I'm looking forward to other things, you know, 
it's really fun. Uh, I've been doing some more Dutch pours lately behind the scenes, and I'll be showing some more of those to you in the future. I'm glad you're back, back with me. Thanks for sticking around and uh, being patient. I think that you are awesome, and I would love to hear any comments or concerns you have, and just drop them in the box. It'd be great if you would follow my social media. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, please give me a subscribe and click the bell and click that thumbs up because that's lovely. I'm on Instagram, at Painted Raina. I'm on TikTok too. I'm on a couple of other things. Everything is linked down below on my link tree. If you like my earrings, you can buy them on my website. I make them. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna enjoy my Sunday. You take care.